Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be making a cheat bypass using the top four AIs, Gemini, Grok, ChatGPT, and DeepSeek. Then I'm gonna put the bypasses against the best anti-cheat scanner out there, Detect.ac, to see which AI is the best at bypassing. It's Claude Code, but unfortunately, no matter what I spoke to Claude Code about, it would never ever even give me a method on how to do this nothing at all so claude bang out the equation there is no way we're going to get a bypass method out of this ai the next one is chat gpt now this was a little bit harder so chat gpt didn't give me a method but it told me how to launch files lightly and i'm going to take this one launching it through command prompt but i'm going to try a couple other things alongside it so I'm going to launch it from command prompt then i'm going to go ahead and delete the file from command prompt and then see if it still manages to detect it in detect.ac so this is the first method we're going to try i'm going to go ahead and grab the cheat right now and then we're going to go ahead and try out the method so boys we are just saving the cheat now we're just going to call it a bunch of random letters dot exe and let's go ahead and pop it inside our c directory and then let's go to mm, let's say we go to like onedrive temp Let's go ahead, save it in here. And now we have the file path to it. So if we go ahead, show it in folder, copy over the file path from here. So it's in OneDrive temp. We're just going to go ahead, copy as path. Now we're just going to go to CMD, run it as administrator. Now it just wanted us to launch the file, if I'm correct. Yeah, just launch the file from here like so. And as you see, we have the Unicode recall right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and delete the file right there so now it is no longer present inside the directory that we originally had it in if i quickly pull it up right now as you guys can see not here at all now let's go ahead and go over to detect.ac and then we're going to go ahead and start scanning our cell all right boys so let's go ahead let's generate our session and then this is a rainbow six siege cheat so we have all of these games we're just going to go to rainbow six siege copy the link go ahead paste it in my browser give it a quick little download in the downloads folder right here launch this one up and boys i got high hopes for this i'm almost certain detect dc is going to catch this this is really really basic from chat gpt and i think it's going to have to take third place obviously claude got fourth because it didn't even give us a method so boys i don't think this is going to be promising at all okay boys the scan is now finished let's go ahead and take a look and i'll be real i have so much faith for gemini and deep steep because from what i've seen they can do some crazy bypasses but for now Let's go ahead, let's take a look. And yeah, no recoil found round since logon, boys. It is fully detected. There is no way that was gonna bypass. And um, yeah, basically it just got absolutely fried. So let's move on to the next one. We're gonna go to Gemini and hopefully this is a bit of a better bypass. Telling us to do a remote code execution using C++. So if you guys take a look through here, it's telling us basically how to do it what i'm going to go ahead and do is is i'm going to read through all of this put together an executable that's going to remote code inject my executable and then i'm going to go ahead and run it and see if we can actually detect it or not i actually managed to get a program off github skid it change it to how i need it to be changed and boys now we have our own pe remote code injector pe means portable executable and boys i'm not going to show you the whole code but this thing is kind of crazy so let's go ahead and launch it. So we're just going to put it in the run box. I'll be real. I've already got it in here. I just tested it. We're just going to paste it in again. Now, we do not care about the PE injector executable, the migrator.exe, all right, just for the courses of this video, okay? We're going to launch it and see if it can find the cheat. The cheat is actually at Steam directory. So let me real quick put in the directory. So it is right here. So this is the cheat right here now let's go ahead and see if we can launch it right here go ahead and click run all right boom we've launched it filelessly so this is not logged in barely any artifacts boys so i don't know if detect dc is going to be able to find this it's supposed to be the best but we're about to find out i guess so let's go ahead head back over to detect.ac go ahead and log back in all right let's go ahead we'll save the last session and we'll rename it in our safe scans really quickly that was the chat gpt bypass right now nice and then let's go ahead and generate a brand new session for us right here we're going to be using the rainbow six siege version again go ahead and copy this link pop it in our url download a brand new one let's go back to here 
pop it in and go ahead and launch this one up now it's launched let's go ahead agree to the eula and then i'll be back with you guys when this one finishes again and we'll see how much better gemini is gonna do okay boys the scan has been completed after two minutes 30 let's go ahead and view the logs now let's take a look so not this one not this one. Oh, and it managed to find it in how many artifacts four windows artifacts it managed to find it in including secret ones that aren't known to public knowledge apparently too but yeah boys another one right here another one right here another one right here boys this is so detected right now <laughs> there is no way oh wait we've also found a unico rico cheat dropped in the folder as well let's let's see if we can actually find the injector so what's it called migrate to easy yeah right here not sign file executed migrator.exe let's see if we can find it anywhere else as well um so in here we just got it here we didn't get it in here um, there's nothing in here and here either nothing in here nothing in here deleted exes we have it a couple of times deleted when we had to rebuild it possible sus files not here either so it only got found here so not bad still found only in one thing so the injector you could probably hide that pretty good but as of now gemini did a decent job still got detected unfortunately now we're going to move over to grok which in my opinion is probably going to be the second best one then we'll leave deep seek to last because i believe it is giving me the best possible method which i think may actually bypass detect.ac but yeah boys let's go ahead hop into grok see what goes down okay boys so we've hopped over to grok now i've been chatting to it for a little bit and it's been talking about a reflective injection using powershell so it's yet again given us a example of how to do this so i'm gonna go ahead take a look at this put it into powershell do a couple edits if it doesn't work off the bat and then boys i'll be back with you with a powershell injection method i believe this one's going to be better than any others you've seen because i know grok can pull some things out the bag so boys i'll be right back with you guys in a second <laughs> Okay, boys, so it's been a little bit. I have now coded my own fileless PowerShell reflective PE injector like Grok is telling me to do. So, boys, let's go ahead and launch it. I don't want to give this to you guys. So, editor, blur this out right now. We're going to go ahead and just click play. And, guys, as you can see, if I close this editor, remove the blur, and now, guys, you can see that the recoil script is launched and it is injected into PowerShell. And all I gotta do is close it and close PowerShell, and I have bypassed. So, boys, let's go ahead, get detect.ac open, and let's go ahead and scan myself. All right, boys, I have to go do something. The scan's finished. Let's go ahead and view the logs. So, this was a powershell fileless execution so we are going to be okay so we have already detected something there all right let's go to powershell commands this was ages ago so this don't matter malicious powershell command ran let's see if we can go ahead and find the command in here and boys we have found it here twice can we find it anymore no more places we just found it here so boys the malicious powershell command ran flag has managed to find our bike which is kind of shit i had high hopes for this and i was thinking that it was going to bypass but it hasn't unfortunately not good at all not good at all so boys now let's go into deep seek i got high hopes deep seek will finally be able to bypass this scanner boys i'll be right back with you guys when we start see what it cooks up for us fourth and final one we ain't counting claw because it's shit and didn't give us a method but we got deep seek ai now this is supposed to be one of the best so i went in and put in a prompt blah 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 and it says for a completely stealth file execution without leaving traces and specified artifacts use ram disk execution method all right that already sounds technical as fuck okay so we are going to create a ram disk like this copy my executable to the ram disk execute from the ram disk then delete it and that's it that is it we can we can do something with powershell we ain't gonna do that we're gonna do the manual method okay all right cmd let's launch it up let's go ahead and download our cheat real quick so what we're we gonna name it this time what we're we gonna name this what we're we gonna name it this time let's call it let's call it 5m.exe all right let's call it 5m.exe let's put it in let's just go like uh ubisoft connect all right we'll, we'll go ubisoft connect we'll go ubisoft connect all right 
we in ubisoft connect right now let's go ahead and note down the path just 5m.exe all right boys i have high faith for this one okay so we're gonna go ahead and install this let's run this command right now i'm disk is not oh shit wait it's powershell oh, fuck my bad all right here we go i'm disk install shit wait do we need to install i'm disk all right one sec boys uh, uh, i'm gonna get this working real quick for you guys all right boys we got i'm disk we asked it to use it using a gui command and i was bugging so i'm this vers virtual disk driver okay all right boys we got the settings we'll click okay click okay all right we got it we got it we got it it's a removable drive in physical memory use the ram disk copy your file to the ram disk then execute it all right let's see if we can uh do this shit all right it should be copy to there bruv it is not copying like what ah right, boys we managed to figure it out now we can go ahead and copy it in now we copied it now we're going to go ahead and execute it right now so like this like this boom executed this is the cheat get rid of it and then we gotta delete the disk somehow we need to do this this and then remove yes no all right then it's removed it's gone we ain't got it no more here we go r colon it's not there okay all right nice wait hold up hold up hold up yeah yeah, yeah definitely not there and then like another drive like an e-drive it says it's there all right okay sweet it's done now let's go ahead and scan ourselves with the tech.ac so the file we copied it to a physical memory drive we copied it to that drive so it wasn't found anywhere it's in physical memory so it's in memory execute the file from there and then we deleted the whole memory thing so we can't even see like deleted traces in usn journal either because it will show just the disk being unmounted it won't actually show the file being delete we won't have the file delete reason so let's go ahead and generate a new session let's go ahead and select the rainbow six siege version again put the link in download it. you guys know the drill i'll get back to you guys when it's finished scanning all right okay boys scans finished now this is it did deep seek manage to bypass the tech.ac now i think we may be able to get something from this so we don't have a file executed from a different drive flag it bypassed that usn journal not present is fine virtual disk deleted before log on 710 that's fine nothing else here i think we may be in business here device removed before log on nothing here that's fine anything after log on nope cheat found okay we managed to find the actual cheat itself we managed to find the cheat itself on my disk but we didn't find the image mounted volume from i'm disk and we didn't find the execution from that disk either from what i can see if we have a look if we just search up 5m right here yeah so we managed to find the cheat a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch did we manage to find yeah okay so we did actually manage to find executions from the other drive right here these are all executions from the other drive so actually i don't believe it has bypassed here no so it counts as an execution when it tries to move it and execute it and i'm guessing it redirects to the original file and we also have it deleted as well so boys the i'm disk method from deep seek does actually bypass but the cheat still gets found the method bypasses but the cheat still gets found so boys we're gonna have to rank these in order let me move over to main screen real quick all right guys so in no particular order but i'm going to give you in a particular order the order in which the bypass is performed number five claude didn't give a shit we are not happy with claude before chat gpt did give us a method unlike claude was utter rubbish number three we're going to be going with gemini so gemini was pretty decent it gave us some code etc did a good job still didn't do as well as the last two grok is coming in at number two gave us a powershell fileless memory injection which we managed to flag and then number one has to go to deep seek deep seek by far was the best method the method wasn't actually detected i'm gonna go ahead and detect it so when this video comes out detect.ac it will have it in it but boys, it still found the cheat. So overall, AI is not good at bypassing, boys. The best PC checking tool detector AC still finds it. 
Thank you guys for coming down. If you want to see more videos like this where I put AIs against each other, think about doing a PC check in one, see which one can make the best PC check in tool against a good bypass. Let me know down in the comments. Appreciate you guys. See you in a bit. Peace.